my dear Taurus, this is a love reading, a prediction for Aries season, March 19 to April 19, 2020, with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. Uh, I would like to ask you to help my channel to grow and stay vigorous on and healthy on YouTube by liking and subscribing. Also, be sure to put on the bell notification so you don't miss out of any of my videos when I'm posting them. Uh, some of you do no longer get notification for my videos, even if you have chosen to have the notification bell on. And I'm so sorry for that. And I put up a troubleshoot on my community section how you can solve this. And thank you for your help. This is a love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. So when I tell you that this is you, it might as well be the person or the situation that you're dealing with. Use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this reading for you. And if you need more information or help after you have listened to this reading, you can turn to the love readings for Pisces season that is up. We are nine days into Pisces season right now. Or you can check out the pick a card and near personal readings on the first page of my channel. And I will start shuffling your cards and I use the Golden Universal Tarot with Roberto De Angelis. So... When I open your deck here, I see nine of cups with the six of cups in the reverse. So I'm getting the feeling that someone wants to cheer themselves up and uh, kind of say that, well, uh, I have a good life even without this other person here. Okay, so I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the page. No. <laughs> <laughs> the Knight of Cups together with this uh, Nine of Cups in the reverse. Uh, so maybe this is working, acting like we don't care. Then comes in some suitor here. Let's see where it goes. So I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have the chariot in the reverse with the Nine of Cups. So uh, it seems like someone is... Uh, trying to enhance uh, their self uh, and make the other person kind of smaller and insignificant. It can be, um, it, it can be um, kind of a self-preserving mechanism uh, to avoid uh, getting hurt, but I will see what's going on with energy oracle cards. Uh, door to spirit. Uh, okay, uh, so... Yeah, okay. I think someone is trying to detach themselves from another person uh, because the relationship uh, isn't working. And even if you are being offered some kind of love, uh, it, it seems to not be enough. And you're actually trusting uh, the divine uh, that this is the right thing to do, to kind of give up uh, your dream here and um, accept that, well, n right now, I am the most important person in my life and uh, I don't need this other person. So we might read this uh, later on. I just wanted an inkling of what was going on here because it looked uh, like a little bit self-enhanced. So uh, six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading. For my dear Taurus viewers, so I want my dear Taurus to have love in their lives and to find themselves in loving relationships, which might not be the case at the moment. No. Uh, so I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. So it seems the energy that came through, it's your energy. Uh, you're trying to enhance your own sense of self and it might be that we need to kind of fake it until we make it so we need to build up uh, an energy of I can do this I can live without them I can do this without them even if we feel maybe deep down inside that it's not true and that's why I saw it it looked kind of inflated but I think it's necessary for you to take yourself out of some kind of destructive uh, situation which you would have stayed in if you 
still leaned on uh, their importance for you, like how important this person was for you. Okay, so I will just tune in here for a few seconds. So uh, this is the new bottom of the deck and it's the magician. So you're really taking charge over this situation and uh, the communication that you have with this person, the action you do towards this person or away from this person. Uh, so you're showing leadership over yourself to get a good outcome for yourself. So, and this is the old bottom of the deck and it's a six of wands. So I'm feeling before you were asking well can't we have a win-win situation can't it be good for both of us can't we work together but then you probably realize that no it's not going to happen so i'm going to have to look out for myself uh, okay so uh, this is um, what's on your conscious mind about the person most on your mind this is uh, their situation that you have with this person. This is what's on their conscious mind about you. This is your feelings uh, towards them. This is the bond that binds you two together. And this is their feelings towards you. Your behaviors and attitudes towards them, the outcome for this situation, and their behaviors and attitudes towards you. So I'll start with the situation here and it's an ace of wands in the reverse. So the thing that formerly gave you joy, it's not giving you joy anymore, but you're still holding this ace of wands. But I'm thinking it's more like a private uh, celebration in this uh, case. Sometimes the ace of wands, it's, it's pure fire energy. So it can be anger and rage, but also passion, inspiration. It can also have to do with spiritual uh, energy. But here, when it comes in the reverse, it's something that I feel that you wanted, but you're, you're giving it up or you're pouring it out. And you're trying to make it not bothering you. So you don't want to be so passionately involved in this person anymore. You don't want to think about them. You don't want to have this maybe longing towards them. You don't even want to be angry with them. And um, so you just want to basically forget about them, forgive them and, and move on. That's what I'm feeling when I'm holding that card. And uh, this is what's on your conscious mind about them. And we have an eight of cups uh, in the reverse. So I'm always getting a little bit fearful here. Like I'm fearing that they will come back and try something with me again when I'm trying to move on and forget about them. So I'm fearful that they will bounce back and I will be too weak to um, be able to stand up against them. So remember that this can be in a romantic situation, this can be in a friendship situation, um, even work related or it can be family related. So it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship per se, but it can be of course. But what's on their conscious mind about you? And we have a six of coins. So uh, they think you're bestest of friends. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it seems like this person really have high thoughts of you. They think you're nice. You're helpful. Um, maybe they were acting a little bit foolish and immature. Because they could act out their uh, sorrow with you. And you took really good care of them. It's like they could be this hopeless baby or... Uh, the raging teenager or whatever and you would still help them out and have a lot of patience with them uh, so maybe they they took it a little bit too far uh, they put too much responsibility onto you uh, but they still have um, like they still think fondly of you and um, it's this it's a six so it's connected to the lovers card uh, so I think they still hold a lot of uh, loving feelings towards you. I feel like a warmth and when they're thinking of you, they're, sorry, they are thinking <laughs> that, uh, um, they, are, they are thinking about fond memories, things that you have done that was nice uh, towards them. Okay, so this is the common energies or the bond between you two and it's a four of coins so you're not going to give them anything more okay so mostly i'm feeling you're trying to control yourself 
um, being able to say no, being able to not invest and being this uh, giving kind of person. So you really need to hold your horses to not go back into your maybe a little bit codependent behavior where you over functioned and um, maybe you didn't get so much out of the relationship. You were just this pillar of strength or the person that was um, able to hold the ship together. And you realize that for you personally, for yourself personally, you need to take charge so that you can get better things out of life instead of being involved in these kind of situation, imbalanced, codependent uh, with people that are acting out there crazy with you is what I'm feeling. So you're trying to have boundaries here so they will not be able to come and act out they're crazy with you. The, this eight of cups is it's like a swamp. It's uh, often the moon is depicted. It's mountains, so high challenges, and it's involved with a hermit as well. So it's like this um, tough emotions. People can be depressed, or they can take drugs, or they can have problems with um, their attachment style, and it's like they have played this trauma out with you and you were able to help them a long way but um, obviously I've gotten sick and tired of, of doing this and maybe you thought also that it was a totally destructive relationship so this is your feelings for them and it's judgment in the reverse so you feel like the whole relationship was foolish or <clears throat> it wasn't built on a great foundation that you uh, you kind of fooled yourself into this relationship because of your blind spots or your shadows or your trauma so or your patterns karmic patterns that I always meet people like this and I, uh, it's always getting like totally effed up and um, so you're thinking that both people both you and the other person was acting foolish in this situation and so you're trying to keep an eye out to not act foolish again. You don't want to be caught by the old pattern. You want a karmic situation to end and to not repeat and repeat and repeat. So you're trying to better yourself by not falling into the same pitfalls or graves in this case. Um, but it feels like you're a little bit... Uh, degrading yourself in your mind not in a it's not really bad I'm just trying to describe what I'm feeling here that you think that it's almost like there's two of you and one of you is uh, you know you need to keep the short uh, reins on that <laughs> personality with you because it would naturally want to fix the situation take care of the person again and end up back into the rabbit hole like with Alice in the Wonderland and everything would be totally twisted uh, so you feel almost like your your own worst enemy here with enabling these kind of situations okay so this is uh, their feelings towards you and we have the moon uh, so I'm feeling a deep longing like deep nostalgia um, deep um, um, it's almost like re regret okay uh, the person might be depressed uh, might be very sad it might be a lot of tears a lot of crying um, a lot of thinking back to the times when you were there helping them before you put the wall up and they regret their ways and they um, yeah they feel they feel like um, it's almost like they're enjoying this in the same time. Um, so I'm feeling different feelings. So they're also enjoying this that, yeah, they got abandoned because they are a bad person or that because they they can't behave or uh, they can't um, be like a really good person. They are s sinful, bad. And they kind of find pleasure in this in, in some way that they are different from other people so it makes them kind of special that they can't uh, behave normally in relationships but actually need to be self-destructive and need a lot of help 
So maybe this is some kind of baby syndrome where the person wants to be a little baby again, where the mother is, you know, feeding them, taking care of their crap, um, lullabying them to sleep. They can cry a lot. They can um, act very depressed, cry, 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 cry. And they will have a lot of love from their mother or their father here in this situation. So I think someone has regressed to this kind of baby state and that's, maybe where, where they were mostly happy without these responsibilities. So in relationship, they might regress to becoming babies, demanding grown-up babies that uh, wants this uh, unconditional love from you uh, that you would give to a baby. So, okay. So they're getting some kind of reward out of this behavior that people are... Um, putting up with them and you know they are constantly calling and talking about their problems and the other person needs to listen or needs to come over and help them and uh, so sometimes we need to do this for people when they are in crisis but I feel like this has gone into this is a pattern where the person do this to get this uh, they act uh, crazy or demanding or depressed to get uh, the full-on attention and love and someone else taking over the responsibility so they can be small and helpless and just be taken care of basically uh, so this is your behaviors and attitudes towards them and it's a ten of wands in the reverse so putting down the burden you wanted something with this person you saw there was a reason to you engage with this person in the first place you wanted to come to this castle so it was a dream of yours to have a happy future with this person. But, but here you're just, okay, so it didn't happen. It's not going to become like that because it's, it's not logical that we will come from this crappy situation to a happy situation. Nothing has ever changed. I've tried everything. Uh, they can't become happy or they can't become responsible or they can't stop misbehaving. Uh, so I'm, I'm just letting letting go so it seems like you're totally disengaging and you're hoping that they would disengage too so you're in, not in risk of being drawn or pulled back and this is uh, their behaviors and attitudes uh, towards you and we have a five of wands uh, in the reversed so it feels similar uh, that they are also giving up but in the same time it feels a little bit like they want some kind of forgiveness or they want to say I'm sorry but I will see uh, yeah <laughs> anxiety it's kind of the moon card here and the angel of love is that they want to say that they're they're sorry uh, so um, yes so basically they want to come and give you the love that you fear that they will because you fear that you will start kickstart your dream again, that you will get hope that this situation will be fixed and that you will be drawn in for an, yet another lap into the crazy hamster wheel. <laughs> okay, so outcome for this situation and it's the three of cups. So it's a great risk that this will uh, actually happen. It might be that this is not in reverse, but... Uh, three, it's connected to the Empress card. Empress is this mother energy. Sometimes people need not only one mother because when they are grown up, usually people don't want to mother them in the same amount that uh, um, that they would when there's a baby. So there might be certain people that has this baby syndrome, not being able to mature out of the diaper stage that wants to have more than one relationship like being able to go from woman to woman to woman to woman so they will always be babied and it can be going from man to man to man to man as well uh, but it's not it's what I it wasn't what I immediately felt I immediately felt that there's some kind of connection between you two uh, that you are trying to push away and be very determined to not feel this uh, connection because this is the holy trinity um, love that we feel very high divine love that we feel with very few people in a lifetime we can't feel this with everyone when this comes in the reverse it might be a person trying to get this kind of connection with a lot of people so they don't risk living without because some people can't live without love so they need like one woman in every harbor or 
one uh, guy in in on every street so um because they need they can't love themselves while the other one is away but what i'm feeling mostly is that this is a great connection it's just that it's uh, unhealthy here on earth it doesn't have to be like that in spirit or isn't like that in spirit and you are trying to cut it off uh, and you are entitled to do so you're trying to trust spirit here instead and maybe focus more on the spiritual uh, but this person still loves you they still think about you a lot so they send a lot of energy towards you you're trying to drop it and let it go and stop thinking of them but i think it will be a hard hard game to win so but for you here it's spiritual awakening and new beginnings this door opens onto the expansive energetic realm where all new beginnings originate the orbs of light are guiding you through the clouds of the earthly world leading you to a deeper understanding of your eternal identity the source of all true value and power this door opens onto truly unlimited potential for the changes that happens here reach deep into the core of your being. As such, this card often heralds your increasing powers in the spiritual arts and a deepening connection with the spirit world. Don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive, more aware of spirit's presence or more powerful in your own healing practices. Now is the time to open up to the unexpected guidance and the inspiration of spirit and to the magic and power of your true identity. Uh, I relax and connect with my spirit's wisdom and power. I live in the peace that my spirit brings and know that the world of spirit supports me. So what I'm feeling here is that you have a pattern of um, wanting to be nice uh, and wanting to heal and uh, help people but you have been doing it a little bit in the wrong places so it wasn't really helping people it was making them to big babies um, or they already were and you weren't really helping them with enhancing their illusions uh, so when you know when you now are able to hold some self-control and not give this energy away to just whomever uh, in this codependent destructive kind of pattern you now get more energy which you can actually use for real good so that's what i'm feeling here so it's important that you keep on uh, having these boundaries and i'm thinking this with the three of cups it's this person will benefit here they will benefit from not having you to baby them and other people will benefit too so this is like a eureka moment where you finally reached to a level where where there's good being done in the world not good uh, we feel we are doing good but it's actually just our us filling up our need of feeling uh, like not sinful and uh, like a good person uh, doing the best for other people but what we really did was we were over functioning here and giving things that people really didn't need and they needed a kick in the ass not you carrying them uh, when they were um, <laughs> acting like these big babies so um, and so this person I think they will grow and they will realize that the love they had for you was true but that their behavior was pitiful and, and that this needs to end uh, so it seems like they want to reach out but in the same time they might hold themselves from doing so with this five of wands because they know also deep inside that this is not good uh, so you might there might be a, a reconciliation or they will come and say that they're sorry at the later point in time but for right, right now it feels like uh, nothing will really happen between you but good things will happen uh, with your patterns this person may be no longer uh, spread their manure or their diapers on their environment and and you are no longer uh, focusing on people that actually don't need your help and now you're able to focus on people that could need your help that could take advice from you and and do something good with it or go to you get healing and then work on their healing on their own not these people that's climbing onto you or refuse to let go of you and uh, suck the living life out of you uh, because they need you to like a backbone because they don't have one of their own 
so they need you like the adult. Uh, so sometimes when, specifically if we are healers or physicians, people that's taking care of other people's health, they can have these kind of um, destructive patterns with their patients uh, so that these patients are becoming too, uh, too dependent on uh, the healer. And um, this can be what's going on also. If this is not a romantic relationship, it can be with your, with your patients, for example. Okay. But for romantic relationships, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, give your relationship a chance. And yeah, I think this, is, this story isn't over. Um, when this person has, um, you know, gone through their, the major part of their trauma and depression here and learn to deal with it themselves heroically here, this is like carrying uh, something in silence instead of acting out uh, is what I'm feeling there. So they hold this love for you and appreciation and they know they did wrong and they want to still have a relationship with you but for you you need to keep your distance for this time being and focus on what the spirit wants you to focus on instead so rebuilding your energy and putting your energy where, where it's actually needed instead of where it's um, the road to hell that's paved with good intentions <laughs> okay so my dear Taurus I hope this helped and uh, if you need more uh, information after you have watched this reading, you can turn to the Pisces Seasons Love Readings or the Pick a Card and Near Personal Readings on the first page of my channel. Uh, I'm also going to sprinkle more Near Personal and Pick a Card readings uh, throughout the month. And I will come back with uh, a reading like this, Love Reading, but for your season, Taurus season. So you will be first out in the end of March when I'm doing the Taurus season love readings. So until next time, take really good care and bye bye.